since I forgot to buy my AAA batteries again, for start let me try to hook up my uh, PC multimeter to the to the power supply to measure the power supply. That will be interesting. So I will adjust this thing to 2.4 volts. Connect the meter. Put a little bit back and see what happens. Ta -da. Okay, the meter is off and it draws zero amps. If I turn it on, it doesn't work. Hmm? So maybe the current limit. No. So that is not very good. Okay, the batteries are in the meter and it works thankfully. So let's see what's going on here. Yeah, it outputs 3 volts, obviously. And the leads. Why is it 3.7? Maybe I kicked it with the probe. So yes, this thing seems to give some voltage at the output. When I set the voltage to zero, it is actually zero minus this. Is, it is zero. So yeah, that is fine. It seems to work and it seems to show um, pretty precise numbers. 7.5, yeah. So, yeah, that is nice. See, maximum voltage without load 15.7. Okay then. You can see it spike to 23 volts. So let me set it to 5 volts, which is usual for powering stuff like detail logic. Yeah, little spike. I <laughs> this multimeter is um, uh, it's it's also new to me, so I don't really know how to use it very well. But it doesn't have minimum maximum, I suppose. Okay, so let's power something up. Let me power a LED. For this I want to set the current limit to say 20 milliamps. So how do you do this? I'll turn on the 
the power supply and set the voltage to something minimum let's say 0.1 volts then I'll short circuit the output uh, these crocs are not the best quality let me turn back the power supply now you can see the um, current limit has kicked in it is in constant current mode because it's short circuit small resistance impedance practically zero so let me set it to now this is obviously not really precise Okay, let's say this is 20 milliamps, or it's not. Oh, yeah. It is a bit difficult to adjust it uh, precisely. You can always use your M meter, like multimeter. Okay, this will do. Now I will turn off the power supply. Hook up the LED. Make sure it doesn't short circuit. Now let me turn it on. Now I will raise the voltage. And you can see it turn on at 2. 2.3, 2.23 volts. Let me turn off the light. Yeah, baby. 2.3 volts. Then whatever I do, the current will not exceed what I said, which is 20 milliamps, this display is obviously not a very precise thing. So let's see. Okay. So I cannot damage my LED. It's nice. Uh, normally you would want to keep this fine adjustment knob in the middle, so I made a little mark, so I know when it's in the middle. S uh, then you, when you adjust your voltage, you will adjust the coarse voltage. When you are right about there, you have equal amount of uh, space in minus and in plus directions. So let me show you what I was talking about once more about current limit. Let me set this thing to minimum. I set the current limit to 20 milliamps. So when I turn this thing on, it is in constant voltage mode. Okay. So let me turn this thing in the middle. So when I raise the voltage, let me arrange this thing so you can see everything. It's a little bit difficult. 
So when I raise the voltage slowly it will light up at 2.3 volts approximately. Then when I continue raising the voltage, see just about there it will enter constant current mode. And this is when it hits the current limit. Um, I said before, now after I continue raising voltage, it will not raise the voltage on the output because it is in constant current mode. The current determines the voltage here. And this is obviously useful not to fry your things. So let me try to raise the current a little bit. Yeah, the current adjustment is not very precise, obviously. I didn't read the spec sheet for this LED, but uh, it is typically the these types of LEDs are around 20 millivolts. Now you can, um, if you want uh, it very bright, you can set it to maybe more. It is actually overclocking and uh, it is um, more suitable for high power LEDs uh, where you use heat sinks. But you can also set the current under the specified current to extend the lifetime and increase the durability of LED. Then you can use the power supply like this, this method to find the operating point of the LED. Uh, you see the, after you set the current, you see the voltage it operates at and maybe I'll do another video about it but you know how diode looks it will uh, uh, it will not let current not let, let the, then suddenly it will uh, let the current uh, in forward direction in forward voltage also and you can calculate the resistor to get this the current you, you set, the current you want at this voltage you measured here so this is about it for this time thank you for watching uh, give me thumbs up if you like it and see you next time goodbye and the moment you all been waiting for Thanks for watching. Bye.